What's going on guys? That Red WJ here. Um, we're on a family outing today. And there's that black ZJ. And Jesse. Say hi Jesse. Uh, we're here at Cabela's in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Checking out the uh, all the uh, animals here. Um, they have caribou, elk, bear, polar bear, goats, um, big horns, lots and lots of awesome, awesome stuff here. This polar bear here on the left that's standing up, he's 50 years old. Uh, at some point in 2020, he'll be 50. He's probably about six foot eight, six foot nine, I would say. Um, it says polar bear taken by Peter Santon, Kotzebue, Alaska, 1970. And then this one here. Um, you can barely see the plate there, but it says BNC 28616, taken by Stephen Pyle, the third, 1965, Diomede Islands, Alaska. Currently number 11 in the world. And these polar bears are huge. And they have goats all the way up here. You really can't get a scope of how high that is, but it's it's way up there. And if you've been here to, to Cabela's, you know, you know, you, you've seen a lot of this. There's a grizzly bear attacking a marmot. There's some wolves way up in there. We're gonna walk over here. Here's a couple of white wolves trying to eat these uh, bison. Oh, I'm sorry, muskox. Muskox. And these wolves are gorgeous. She just walked that way. There's my dad. Like I said, we're out on a family outing. Um, this is a redneck mall, pretty much. Um, there's goats up there as well. There's an arctic fox. I've never personally seen one. But they are adorable but extremely vicious. Kate has found the uh, pressed penny souvenir thing. Actually, I don't have any change at all. Oh, my pockets are empty. I might have, hold on, I might have a penny in my, I have one penny here. Oh wait, no, I need 50 cents. Oh yeah, it's 50 cents, yeah. Anyway, so that's the pressed penny machine. If you don't know what a pressed penny machine is, Basically, it makes uh, it'll it makes a penny into that. I only have my shiny quarters, and I'm not using them. All right, well then, don't worry about it. Here we have two big brown bear taking down a moose. That moose is massive, um, and these are all real. Um, they, they're all mounts that were donated. Um, this is an Alaskan Yukon moose, so that one actually came from Alaska giant brown bear a lot of these animals are actually from Alaska real big moose uh, that one says Canada moose um, and I believe that's a female oh yeah there's a coyote right there And there's a bunch of goats. Um, there's some mule deer. Desert sheep. That's a mountain lion there. <laughs> and then uh, here they have a rattlesnake right there. Try to get you focused here real quick. Yeah, there's a rattlesnake there. These are prairie dogs, adorable little things, very friendly. Merriam's turkeys, gray fox, um, then some more deer way up there. They also have a pond full of fish here, um, and it is a live pond. And as you can see, they kind of have a bear looking down on the fish to, you know, keep them in line. The fish don't know the bear isn't real, so I'm sure they figured it out after long enough. But really cool setup here um, this, this this mountain is massive um, and then uh, they have beavers here they look like Alaskan beavers I believe 
Right there is the record Pennsylvania black bear. And this is Hamburg, Pennsylvania, by the way. In case I didn't already say that. That there is the record Pennsylvania black bear. Um, I'll read it to you. It says BNC 237. 16 inches, currently number two in the world, 19 year, years old, estimated live weight, almost 800 pounds. Taken illegally, Lycoming County, Pennsylvania in 1987, on loan from the Pennsylvania Game Commission. So, this place is huge. Like I said, they have a live pond. Um, then over here, they have another pond, a real, real big pond with a moose in the middle of it. Um, a lot of these fish were donated from the Game Commission and then people that um, caught them and brought them here. Giant moose standing there, a couple of raccoons. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a redneck mall. They sell guns, bows, fishing stuff, um, and everything in between. All kinds of camping gear. I'm actually going to go into the camping section. They actually have a restaurant up top there. I'm not a huge fan of their food, but I will eat it. Um, they have, you know, um, clothing. They have everything you could possibly think of. Um, got some typical mule deer here. And they have, there's a porcupine. Um, then here's the main board. It says North American big game display, a tribute to American sportsmen. I'll, uh, I'll get real close so you guys can pause the video and read this then. Alright. I got the fishies. Okay. Like I said, they have clothing everywhere. There's mounts everywhere. There's deer and bear and moose all up in, uh, on the sides everywhere. They used to have birds up in the rafters um, mounted, but I don't see any anymore. I believe they took them down. They probably started the rot. Um, but these are all real mounts that were all donated, um, whether it was by the Game Commission or other people. It's a really, really cool place. If you're out in Pennsylvania and you get the time to make your way out this way, um, you definitely want to check this place out. This place is huge. Um, and everything's made of, made of wood, pretty much. Beautiful, beautiful wood. Um, we're gonna kind of walk around and just take a look around. My parents are somewhere around here. I'm not sure where. You got him? Okay. She gave me a dirty look. <laughs> anyway, um, they have calls here. I'm not sure exactly what. I'm not a real big hunter. I I just fish usually. They have selection of knives. They have knives out the wazoo here. Um, binoculars, scopes, ammo boxes, pistol cases, anything related to hunting or outdoors they have here. You can literally find anything you can literally think of here. Um, this is deer country. Um, what they have Ooh, glazed cashews. I want glazed cashews. I wonder how I get those. Can't open the case, I don't think. Okay, five dollars each, two for nine. Okay, I'll come back. Anyway, so this is deer country. This place is huge. This is actually a new addition as far as I know. I've never seen this before. Um, they have animal mounts everywhere. I guess people have just been donating mounts left and right. Have some massive bucks here. Sorry the video is not perfectly stable. I'm using my tripod mount and carrying it, so I'm trying to walk and focus on the camera at the same time. Um, they have mounts here on the wall. There's, I'd, I'd probably say there's like 20 here on this wall. Um, and again, you know, they just have these displays everywhere. This place is awesome. Um, and again, it's in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. So you can make your way out here. This is definitely a place to stop. This, this place actually attracts tourists, believe it or not. Because um, it's, you know, the animals, basically. 
you get to see them in, in their actual size and everything. So, the red fox here, pretty little fox. We got Farmer John sitting here. He's doing something with his stick. Here's his little cabin. Non-typical whitetail picked up in 1996 in Montana. There's Kate and Jesse. They're looking around at the deer as well. And again, there's a wall here with a whole bunch of mounts. Um, oh, Dad! All right, you find Mom? All right, come on, Kate. Beautiful, beautiful pup there. Um, and then here, there's a sign on your way out. They're glazed cashews, almonds, and pecans. They're five dollars each, or two for nine. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one, so I'll get you one too. This here says, ensure the beauty of the outdoors, support wildlife con conservation. Um, they have Daisy BB guns here. They have a wall here with a big American flag painting on it. It's Kate and Jesse, again. Um, like I said, they have everything here. Do you want to go look at the other animals? I'm going to follow my dad into the archery section. I want to look in here too. Like I said, they have binoculars and scopes and everything you can think of. Um, all the staff here is really friendly. Um, this is the archery section. I'm just going to do a quick walk through, follow my dad here. There's a comp compound bows down here. But this is your, your absolute best place for... Uh, for camping supplies, but there's a really funky smell. You guys can't smell it through the camera, obviously, but whatever it is, it stinks. Like bad. <laughs> it smells like a skunk. Um, they have a selection of bows here. Crossbows. They have the uh, fake target deer. A little warthog there. Um, like I said, camping-wise, they have literally everything you could ever dream of. So, if you plan on coming out to Pennsylvania and you would like to pick up some new supplies, this is the place to come. Yeah, everything's a little pricey. It's what Kate just said, everything's a little pricey, but it's totally worth it. Everything is quality gear. Um, honestly, if I came here with 10 grand, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, $170 for that bag. It's got all kinds of straps and pockets, a real nice camo bag. Um, but like I said, if I came here with like 10 grand, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a clue where to start. But you could drop 10 grand here in like five minutes with no issue. Um, my dad's getting pictures of all the mounts and stuff. That's why I got a video of it. That way he can, uh, he can watch it later and you know, he can actually see everything in detail. All the video I got. We're going to go check out the fish. Come on, dad. Well, I'm getting video of it too, so you can watch it later. I know I am. Oh, where? Yeah, there's that Alaska, Alaskan Yukon moose again with the two uh, grizzlies. It looks like they're actually about to fight over the moose. That's pretty cool. So, Jesse's over there causing trouble. Holds something off the shelf. Silly. Anyway. So here's my dad. He's uh, uploading some pictures on Facebook of the uh, of this here because he doesn't make YouTube videos like I do. It saves me the effort of having to upload a billion pictures. Um, they have candy here, every type of candy you can possibly think of. We're now in the process of locating my mom again. Um, they have a shoe store in here, dedicated to just shoes over there. Let's go over here, Dad. This way. All right. Um, here they have fish finders, I believe. I think that's what these are. If you look at this one, I finally get to 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, these are actually GPS things, and there's fish finders here as well. Hello. Hello. Um, they have car batteries. I'm coming, honey. Honey, what, what were you, what were you talking about? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Kate said this one here shows you the, like, the depth of the water and everything. Um, it's it's actually on a demo loop at the moment. It's like a, a, a mega sonar. Here. Yeah, she said it's like a mega sonar. Or, okay, side imaging sonar. That's cool. All right, awesome. Um, and they're hummingbirds, not hummingbirds, hummingbirds. Um, they also have a section over here. Um, for watercraft, you know, for boating and stuff like that. Um, they have camping supplies kind of scattered everywhere, you know, whatever you need, you kind of just look for it and eventually you'll find it. Um, this section is dedicated to animals from Africa. Giant lion here. Two lions, I'm sorry. Um, greater kudus. Not sure what those are, I believe they're kind of African deer maybe. Um, there's a leopard there with a one of those kudus laid over, over the branch. Female lion here. Oh, I'm sorry, and there's hyenas back there. And a jackal. Here's a white rhinoceros. Um, shoulder height 63 to 67 inches. Average weight 4,200 to 4,620 pounds. Um, they have gazelle. There's a cute little baboon sitting there. The African Dangerous Five. It says the elephant, lion, leopard, Cape buffalo, and rhino are widely regarded as the world's most deadly game animals. This display features trophies taken by various hunters during their many African safaris. Um, here's a, a life-size elephant. This is actually a, a, a real mount um, that was donated. I heard this was actually brought in on a tractor trailer um, and needed to be craned in here. It's from Zimbabwe. Yeah, it's from, from Zimbabwe. Dick Kabeta with his elephant taken September 29th, 2001. Matet, Matetsi, Zimbabwe. Cape Buffalo, there's a warthog, uh, and of course zebras, can't forget about the zebras. Um, those are called steen box, I don't know what they are, they're like baby mini deer I guess. Um, here's two crocodiles fighting over whatever that is, it looks like a one of those kudus as well. Um, and then a wildebeest, very 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 dangerous animal. Um, they have everything here for your boats, you know, two-stroke, four-stroke stuff. And my favorite section, the fishing poles. Um, I actually do, I still have, my fishing pole's fairly brand new still from here. I got it for like 60, 70 bucks. Um, I just made a video about the mount for that in my Jeep. Um, I do need a couple of fishing supplies, but it's getting towards winter, so we're actually not fishing for the rest of the year. Um, we won't be fishing again until after winter time. Um, but now we are heading into the aquarium. My dad's actually already in here. Um, say fishies. Say fishies. So here we have um, Cabela's giant indoor aquarium. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. That thing's huge. Um, as far as I know, a lot of these were actually donated. Um, and I know some of them were actually caught by Cabela's employees and brought here. Um, there's some beautiful, beautiful fish here. I believe this fella here is a carp. I'm pretty sure that's what he is. Cor correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, they have things here. Um, labels telling you what everything is. But, you know, everything is obviously not sitting still. There's a turtle here. Two turtles here. You can see, really pretty. Let me see how close I can get to this window. Really pretty turtle. He's just floating up there, hanging out, swimming around. Another one over here. Um, and then the aquarium also runs down this way. Uh, honestly, my favorite place about, my favorite thing about Cabela's is all the woodwork. It is, the entire building is made of wood. Um, it's all treated, I believe, but it's all made of wood. 
but these fish are huge. I don't know what every single single one is. Uh, I'm not a you know big big fisherman, crazy about it, um, but I do fish. Oh, I'm sorry. Kate okay, said so there's a dead turtle in the aquarium. That's unfortunate. My dad checking out the candy. Um, we actually have an appointment in Harris or uh, Hamburg tonight for something else, so we figured we'd just stop by Cabela's, waste some time, walk around, and look at some stuff. Um, these are professional reels, stuff like that. I, you know, I haven't gone crazy. I just use a normal reel. You can spend, you know, whatever you want and build a crazy rod and, you know, do whatever you want with it. But I just do, you know, normal catch and release. I don't bring any fish home. I'm going to switch my hook style um, next year. I'm going to go to a, a single barbed hook. I've been using a double barb, um, and it's just a pain, and I, it kind of hurts the fish, I guess, when, when I try to take it out. So, um, But I do fish. I do love fishing. It's, it's peaceful. Um, I actually got into fishing myself. Nobody really got me into it. I just decided to start fishing. Um, I never really was into hunting. Um, I, I could get into it, I feel like, but I just, I'm not really a fan of getting up at three o'clock in the morning to go sit in the woods and potentially not bring anything home. And I don't know how to gut a deer, so I, I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't waste my time. I do got to come get some uh, new fake baits as well as, you know, I use live stuff here and there, but I usually use a uh, top water for lakes and stuff. I usually have pretty good luck with those. My dad's sitting here checking out the uh, Africa exhibit. Um, and this is here all year long, so you can, you know, you don't have to come here at any time. You can come come here whenever you want. The crocodile weighs 3,000 pounds. Is that what it says? Yeah, three average thousand. weight two to 3,000 pounds, my dad says is crocodile. So it says on that sign there. Um, and then they have a beautiful painting here. This whole room is one giant painting. Um, and from what I'm told, this is actually hand painted. Told this isn't a wrap, it's actually hand painted. It looks like a wrap, honestly. It's really, really good. Um, I, I, I think it is a wrap. I think they're just, you know, bullshitting me, but. Because it really looks like a wrap. But who knows? Um. And these are, like I said, everything is real. They're all real mounts. So what they did with these animals to hold them up is they actually just stood them here. And then they filled this with, um, um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's a, it's kind of like a thick plaster. Um, I forget what that, what it's called, but you guys will tell me in the comments. But, um, they just filled it while the animals were stood up all tied together. And then they just took the ropes off and they just stood there. So... Um, you can see the zebra is actually breaking through right there, the foot. But, my dad's getting some pictures. The white rhinoceros. There's lions over here too, Dad. And a jackal. There's Kate and Jesse, again. I saw I'm trying to walk around and see everything. I want to go to the camping section. Oh yeah, you can get on the elevator. Here's my mom. Finally found her after all this time. All right, I'm gonna head up to the camping section. Kate's getting on the elevator. You know what? I'm gonna hop on the elevator with her. I don't feel like walking up them steps. Although everything's beautiful here, but nice little elevator. All right, and we're back. I just paused it while we were in the elevator because there's no reason to record sitting in the elevator. And waste time. All right, so we're in this camping section. I want to get a setup like that. I mean, it's See a fish fryer. Well, this runs off. Well, th all right, so this is a fish fryer, but this would actually work um, as a cooking setup for the Jeep. Um, for our Jeeps. I really want to come up here because I want to see if I could actually locate a scottle. A scottle. Kate doesn't know what a scottle is, but that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Um, it's it's a cooking setup. It's basically a tripod with a flat pan on top. 
okay. So basically that's different. Yeah, sort of, kind of. So they have tabletop grills here. That's really nice, actually. I really like that. Um, we already have camp stoves. You know, we, we can use them. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, they're, they're just, you know, they're older, and they're, they're still, you know, they're heavy. They don't break down. Um, but we're going to try and locate a scuttle or something of the sort. My parents just got up here. Um, there is a really sweet nut, <coughs> nut smell up here. I don't know what it is, but it smells great. My mom just smelled the peanuts. Huh. Oh, here's here's the scottle setup basically. So this is basically what we're looking for. Um, except we don't want ones this high. We want to be able to. We want them a little lower. But these are basically what scottles are. They're 400 bucks, and I can pretty much make that at home. I can I can kind of build that. Yeah, it's so basically you just hook propane to it and it, it just heats up like a plate. Oh, the BB gun thing? Yeah. Alright, so let me show you guys one of the coolest, absolutely coolest parts of Cabela's. Um, here they have tents and everything, but one of the coolest parts is they actually, you can pay and they have like these BB gun setups. They're actually digital, but. Um, they actually have a, a setup where you can sit here and shoot guns and um, at little targets everywhere. Um, Kate is about to start firing off, so let's see how she does. Uh, 50 cents. Two quarters. There we go. Kate got the uh, hat. Kate got the chicken. Each thing lights up green when you shoot it, pretty much. Alright, so I'm going to set you guys up right here and actually uh, give you an idea. I'm going to set you guys up so I don't have to actually hold it. Um, so it'll be perfectly still. I'm going to get Kate to focus in front of the camera here. So we can find that area. Kate, there's four shots left. That actually looks really good. Alright, my parents are also actually doing it. Um, this is, you're, you're actually right next to my mom at the moment, so. Mom, you're out of shots. There you go. Now, now shoot. Now shoot. You didn't hit the button. Alright. You're actually watching my mom. She's actually right to the left of the camera, so. Let's see how she does. Move this a little bit. Um, they actually make gunshot sounds, so that's pretty cool. She hit the... Spatula again, or that frying pan again. She's just focusing on that one target, trying to perfect her shots here. Did you put 50 cents in so he can shoot? Go ahead, Jesse, shoot. Over here to my right. Um, playing around with the, the rifle. You gotta shoot, buddy. My mom's down to 10 shots. Like I said, she's actually right to the left of the camera. You just can't see her, but... Boom! Boom! Oh, my mom hit the brown bear up there, or the black bear, I'm sorry. Uh, and then Kate is also two, two guns down from my mom. She's about two feet away from her. Um, she's gonna shoot with her.
Merci, vous dites ici. shooting with my mom and Kate. My mom's down to five shots and Kate is at ten. Um, I'm trying to get the broad spectrum here so you can see everything. That's the best I can do with the camera at the moment. So. I actually just took 20 shots and I only missed two out of 20. So, that's the shooting display. Um, we're all done here. My mom and Kate are wrapping up. Hi. And Jesse's going to go back in the stroller because Daddy's still taking video. So, I'm going to hand you off to Mommy. Good boy. You're being a good boy today. Yeah. Jesse, smile for the camera. Say cheese. Say cheese. Look, look at the camera. Say cheese. Silly. Okay, no, come on. No, no, no. You gonna carry him or? Can you take a stroller, mom? Kate's gonna carry him, I guess. You gonna carry him or? Are you gonna put him in a stroller? What are you doing? You're just standing here. All right. Well, figure out what you're doing. You need a diaper change. Yes. All right. Mom, he needs a diaper change. So. You wanna change him right here? All right, I'll be right back with you guys in a sec. All right, and we're back. All right, so um, if um, 